Hello everyone, so Jellybean here with Court Arms Gates Philosophy V2, Conquest Enhanced version 2 should I say, and it's day 7, where we just did that absolutely brutal defence. If you saw it, obviously no, if not, all I'd say is the KB where one was the hero of that match, and we've also got another captured one. So after that we have took an absolute beat, and as you can see, lots of infantry dead. Um, we did lose the AT gun. Most things survived, but we took an absolute hammering. I will rearm everything, but I will get rid. So I've got loads of munitions, but um, yeah, actually, just do it. Rearm everything, we're okay. Because normally low munitions were fine. So we have got two KB2s now. Both the exact same, but these are an elite crew. <laughs> they did kill first deployment last match. I think it got 100 and. I don't know exactly. I think it was 131 kills at the end of the video. So it was a lot. So we're going to have to be on the attack and really need research points if they're available. They are not. So manpower and support. Um, whatever gets us closer, really, would probably be advised. That's the. We've already been on that map, to be fair, so. I don't know why it's putting us on it again. Hilltop, oh, that map sucks. It's a nice map, come on. There's over. Ah, that's more of an interesting map, I don't mind that one. So, we have got some research points. Um, going for small defences next is priority, but right now, we do need better AT, because we're really struggling with those heavy weapons. So, we can get the 5 centimeter pack, and we'll soon be able to get the 7.5 centimeter pack as well. Five centimeter being quite powerful actually. Having is it 102, 102 millimeters pen. It's 11 to bring. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of these uh, AT guns now. We're going to get a five centimeter pack, and that brought with us as well to deal with. It won't deal with the heaviest armor, but it can deal with quite a lot of stuff. And we'll save some research points. And then my plan for the research as well is also to go around and get to the different types of artillery and support weapon systems. Because we have got a lot of support we could use. I mean, we'll have to try and get to call in stage 4, but it's 8 points, and hopefully it will be more than 20 points. <laughs> so let's look at what we're going to deploy. So, four squads of Spanish Blur Division. Some of them are getting quite better. He's, Jesus Christ, look at that beast. He's just on it. Uh, so, four squads of Blur Division. We will bring the artillery weapon, artillery gun, uh, and some ammo. We're also going to bring. We are going to bring one KB, because. It's the heaviest tank we've got now. More blur division, mortar, chuck some ammo in there, and a medic. And then last bit, light infantry gun, and some ammo to support. So we'll have six squads of blur division, a KV, light infantry gun, mortar, medic, ammo crates, and heavy artillery. It should be enough for us to crack this uh, defences. And I'll see you in combat in a moment. And here we are in combat, and we're just going to go and check the points. There's three to take, wow. So there's B in this compound over here. There is A in this courtyard, just over here. And there's objective D over here. So, should be all good really. I might as well just spawn everything in, start setting up. So, get the artillery gun up there, get some ammo. Obviously yeah, we have the KV as well, which is our heavy support vehicle. I'm not spamming tanks as you can see because I have not technically bought it, I've stolen it, so big difference. So I'm going to spread a few squads about, just start getting them in position, in decent position should I say. And this should be doing alright, we'll keep a couple of squads in reserve, just in case. Got quite a lot of ammunition, we also have the mortar obviously, can fire light support and the light infantry gun, which right now is going to come over here. And just kind of hold back a bit because it is good, good anti tank for us. The KV is going to be a, a central battering ram in this match. We're going to take advantage of what we've stolen. We didn't steal two of them for nothing. They obviously are useful on defence, but the Spanish Blur Division, even though it's been forgotten about by German High Command in the armour sense, it has managed to scrounge some tanks. And all German High Command has had to give is a tank crew and some basic maintenance teams, so they're quite happy to give resources in that sense. So we have already been engaged by the BT-7. Right, I'm going to deal with this swine myself. Right, so they've got in place tanks straight away. Oh, he's engaging them. That's not very nice. Load up. There we go. There's some infantry somewhere about. Right? Oh, there they are. Oh, we did get hit on the side there. 
got an AT rifle. It was. Load the high X. Everyone down, they're down. Down please. Just getting to cover. The squads are doing an okay job. If you hit the deck as well, just start moving up. The mortar is engaging. They're doing a fine job there actually. So the infantry will advance with the KV. We'll split these five men off. What we'll do as well, send five men around the flank here to get in some decent positions. The mortar will move up once it's safe. Oh. So the KV is going to make it a lot easier. We have got, is that an AT guy I believe? Yeah, he's got something on it. Yeah, I think he's got an AT rifle, but we should be able to deal with them. Oh, good shoot by the KV there. Reload that MG. It's not got the best um, loading with the turret, like, they made it better with the later mods of the KV, same as the T-34, slow reload, really affected it. So the mortars are going to push straight down now, to here. And this is going to be a fairly quick assault on the first objective, good to get in quick. Taking that cover down, and just part of the KV there, and infantry can start making their move across the fields. These guys here can get to this. Um, log, the outcropping, and the mortars are going to set up and be in a decent spot. We'll send the third squad up to back them up, and a bit of ammo as well to rearm the KV after the fight. Got to be a bit careful of molotovs and AT grenades, we don't want to lose the KV to unnecessary risk, I guess. Um, let's just start shredding. Oh, we're missing everything. Come on, lad. There we go. It's not too bad. Oh, we haven't got the artillery piece, I did forget about him. Um, He's not really needed at the moment. What's his range? His range stretches to the second point, so I'm going to just have him hammer the second point a bit. Is he aiming? Where is he? I've lost him. He should be firing. Yeah, he is. I might get some hits. No. He's ready and available. Right, so the infantry's got to move up now. Move up to the point. You need to go across as well. And then this squad as well can start making the move. The KV plus the infantry should be able to take the position. There is infantry there. Is the KV ready? Get that machine gun firing. Good shooting. Good stuff. If you can, um, move two guys up first to the walls. Gotta be careful, there could be lots of troops on the other side of this. And they'll have frag grenade and such. Alright. And then we'll move. Oh, we have got troops there. Chuck some grenades if you can. Start pushing them out of the objective. Move the KV so he can shoot through a bit there. Oh, that was a mortar, I think. Try and get up there if you can. Oh, there's a lot of infantry there. Get down, get down. Just move up slowly. KV's right there. We're going to use his uh, insane armour and heavy, heavy stature, should we say, to just overwhelm the position. There we go. Gotta be careful for his enemies there. There we go. They are trying to frag us, but we're just going to keep heavy fire on them. He's there. No, oh, grab the tricking grenades. Oh, can we see him? I should play this crap play. There we go. There we go. Oh, mortar did hit one of our own guys there. Get him back, get peeled. Just get to the get to the side there. So we need to get these these teams up as well. So this squad can also push. Mortar's a bit risky there, we're going to move him further because he's, he's not as accurate until you're getting closer. I just kind of want to shove this KB straight in, let's do it. What's that? Did it not kill the infantry that was there? Jesus, right, let's just shove him in. Alright, I'm just going to start cutting men down, take advantage of the tank. It's a bit risky, but screw it. Now these are like Black Sea Marines, these are quite elite I think. Oh god, things like that. And there we go, just clear the position out and take. Make a bit of haste, because the longer we wait the more reinforcements will come. And the guy, oh we did lose a guy, we haven't got Medic. Get him up there. The mortars could just start pushing up a bit. I'll get him set up on the point. Oh, they've grenades, 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 do it. And we come around the corner. There we go, bro. Just try and engage them if you can. Get the infantry squads in, push quick. Infantry here, if you can push up to this as well, get yourselves in. Tank can just go a bit forward, and that's the first position taken. Quite a difficult one actually because of how they can hide 
quite well in it. We'll get a few guys set up there. Get you two set up there. You two set up there, and you three. If you want to join the tank, is what's he? Are we shooting at him? Come on. Pay attention. There we go. Well, we can put the tank forward, and the mortar's going to go right inside the position and just provide covering fire for the troops that are here. We should be able to keep most threats away with the infantry alone. The medic's doing his job, he should be anyway. So that was good stuff, we're going to move another infantry squad up there. This infantry are going to start pushing up as well, as are these. And the AT gun actually, I want to bring up a bit further. Bring up to there. Means we won't have the AT for a little bit. And the light infantry gun, let's bring him up. In case we... Oh, we didn't bring a 5 centimetre gun, I just realised. But because that third attack wave is only 20 men instead of 80, it just scrolls a bit. Yeah, just a bit. So, quickly rearm the KB before he heads out, and the infantry will come to support him. We will leave one squad kind of around here, and one squad can go further up, just to kind of hold the artillery position. We don't want him without any support in case we get flanked. So he's rearming that. Let's get you set up in some sandbags, and he's rearmed, and he can move up with the infantry. So we'll start moving him up now. He's a big heavy guy, he should be fine. Infantry's going to support. We're going to send 5 men across there as well. 10 men across there. We have got an AT gun. It's only a 45 milli though, so it's definitely outclassed. It's like how we feel when we're fighting the KBs. It's a tough job. Can we see him? No, he's just there. There we go, real. We're just using the heavy armor of the KB. Oh! What the hell is that? That's, a, that's an anti-aircraft gun, okay. Start spraying some machine gun at it. It's not doing much, come on. Oh! The 7.5 centimetre guy did lose the track. So he's gonna have to get repaired. Let's get some infantry up there. And start taking positions. Start crawling up, boys. Just you keep busy with shooting. The mortar's gonna start dealing with most of those. What we'll do is we'll push these up first. We'll start finding our infantry around. The light infantry gun there being absolutely fantastic. I think I might bring him up. He's a bit too good. Fantastic shot though. And we've got our infantry. We set a few up there. Oh, it's really weird sometimes how they get on cover. No, yeah, that's a bad spot. Go there, yep. Yeah. These infantry as well. If you can crawl towards this. And then um, you guys there, if you can get on that cover. And you guys just hold near the KB. Should be able to cover you. Oh, there's a lot of troops there though. They should engage as they get forward. Is the tank engaging? I don't know why not. You've still got a turret. You're basically a fortified bunker at this point. Come on. It's knocked over. Oh, we are getting AT rifle, I think. I'm not sure where they are. Once the infantry's in position, we've dealt with most of these threats, we've all started the thing. So we'll start repairing, should I have, does it have a repair kit? It does, yeah, real. He's going to start repairing, then he's a tank crewman so he gets 100% repair speed, which is brilliant. Let's get over there, then some decent positions there, it's not too bad. These guys are going to start pushing up here, actually, you can push to there. Quickly get in position, start taking taking cover, light him you go and push him up. We have now got some decent support. The artillery piece is in range, I think, of everything now. Um, yep, it's in range of all points, so he can start laying down heavy fire on things. There is infantry around here somewhere. Oh, he's around there. Got around on him. Shake it up. Mortar's going to do a good job. We will bring another squad of infantry to support. As soon as that KB is around, we we'll push further. We'll start bringing our troops a bit further forward. Light infantry gun's going to push up a bit as well there, just so he's ready. We'll bring these infantry around here, just so the flanks are covered a bit. Do you need to take the courtyard? So, the heavy weapon system, the artillery, he's going to start hitting this main courtyard here. I'm going to keep the mortar over here, just because their troops will start pushing through these suburb areas. I don't really want to get into a combat with them. What we'll do is we'll get into that building as well. Is he still alive? Not anymore, it won't be. Oh Christ, he's still alive. 
I just want a cheeky frag just to shake it up a bit for it. And you've got an SMG, so you're perfect for this job. Chuck the frag. Right. Oh Christ. He's on the move. No, oh, I think more guy. Oh! I think my own. Um, I think he got shot before he actually died. I think my own artillery would have taken him out there. Where's the medic? Medic! Oh, these need to get in that building. Careful, careful, careful. No, they're just going to get mullered, aren't they? Quick run, get into the building and start shooting. You dealt with them, right? Just flip to that side. Teleport. Cool. You know what? Jump in with them. Use the building to your advantage. So the tanks, all good. Let's start pushing. High explosive rounds. We need them to start smashing these infantry. Rounds away. Does it hit? Let's see. Oh, good hit. Oh, I think that was the 7.5 centimeter though hit. Never mind. As long as it's getting hit. Right, straight away. Push up to those walls with the tank. And you're gonna you're gonna join them as well in a sec. Quick get up there. Once they're in position. Oh, artillery's smashing them. And we've got the other squad here, ready to immediately take a decent position there. Medics should be healing him. Whoa, we need more. We'll get these two medics up as well. Get ready. Whoa, what the hell hit them? PTRD? PTRS what? And tank gun. Shot all of that. They must have, like, detonated them. Jesus. I don't know what happened there, but we'll get the medics straight over to them. That was a massive boss. I don't really know what happened there. He, like, just exploded. Oh, the tank's doing its job, though. Just quitting through infantry now. Brilliant. Artillery gun. He's doing a good job. There is infantry there. I think that's the guy who killed all that man. So take him down. Whoa. A lot of artillery smashing to pieces here. One of you medics actually, if you can get up there. Now I've got a smoke grenade, get it thrown. We did lose some men there. I want infantry to push. And push back there. We need some reserve troops just in case. We should be able to take this point. Quick, get up there, get up there quick. Yep, good hits. Light infantry doing a really good job. Get into the position. Right. We do need to use the tank a bit to push in. So we will now. Just push down the road then. That's what it takes. So they've sabotaged the vehicles. Good to know. Not seeing too many heavy emplacements here. I'm guessing they, they've got KV, but they weren't expecting it to be used against them. There we go. KV is in a decent spot there. I'm going to start pushing my infantry up now. Try and take the point. Try and be snappy about it. If you can heal him, if you could. And he's healing him, brilliant. Start healing up. Those troops are back in the game. Good stuff. Move them to there. We have got some troops there if we can push them. Push the tank back a little bit just in case. Now the heavy artillery we've got infantry pushing up to us. It'd probably be a good idea to engage. Oh that medic didn't heal it. Medic! Medic! The artillery is hitting close, my infantry here. Could probably do a bit more support. Let's bring some infantry up to support them. Because now we can extend ourselves out a bit. Getting those windows there. And a couple of you guys could if you can get on this position up here, just to cut the flank off. There's infantry there, the tanks spinning very strangely with the turret there, being a bit of a pain in the ass. That's a PTR, it's anti tank weapon system. You might be able to see it's quite high, high up in the game, I've realised it's very high. Light infantry guns are doing a great job. Oh crap. So. Alright, push the tank up. We need to start getting some pressure on them now. Spin these rounds, see if we can see what's out there. Actually, put them on there. It's not a bad spot. Quick, run. So they're doing okay. Push these up. Alright. Get to the wall there. Mm. Bit of gunfight here. Bit of pain light infantry gun should be supporting. I think he is. Can we get a round on it? Round on the centre there. 
There we go. Oh! Jesus. I just went to the stratosphere, didn't it? Right, if we can. Oh, got infantry there. He should be dead pretty soon. Come on. He seriously can't deal with one man. Pathetic. Right. You have to push forward now. Be aggressive. Go, go, go. Two of you. Quick, get to that wall. You two, get to that wall. Quick. You, get to whatever. Up there. The infantry push into the centre. That's more like it. Everyone except the medic, you can stay there. The rest of you. I want your asses up there on that point. KV, pulling back. No, nope, pulling back in small bursts, so he reverses. That's always sort of a tip as well. Just small little bursts with ship, and they'll reverse, otherwise, they'll try and spin and become very vulnerable to. Why are you not healing him? I literally told you to do it, I swear. I swear I did it, man. Right, artillery, just keep smacking the crap out of their infantry. Light infantry gun, I want you to shift to this position, provide a bit more support. We have gone through quite a lot of troops, but it's worth it for the victory. Ugh, we've got more men down. We're losing men here and there. Let's try and get them healed, or save resources, we need them for the final push. The tank should go up there. Doesn't look too bad though, all in all, from compared to what I expected. I just thought there'd be more heavy defences. If we can... Is there any more sandbags really can take advantage of, really? Not really. This squad then, they should be alright up there. We'll push up with it. We'll push up the flank. And they're going to have to hold by themselves, basically. But I think most of the enemies will be concentrating on the KB, so we should be fine. Put them behind that cover there for now. You two. If you can... Move up there. KV's gonna push first. Got the artillery on demand. For as soon as we need it, we can just engage anything. Oh, what is that? It's a small anti-tank gun. Let's get some accuracy, see if we can hit it. Guess he completely missed. Yeah. Try and engage if you can. Oh, he's taking a few licks there, isn't he? Let's get that machine gun ready. The underestimate our machine gun powers. We are getting hit though. Oh crap, he can see us. Oh, the artillery piece did hit him. Good stuff. Let's see if we can finish him off. Crap, Just stuff in the way. The artillery gun might be able to finish him off maybe. Come on. Load, load, load. Let's see if we can catch the top of him. Oh, he's hit the tracks though. There we go, he's down. KV's done a good job there. Then we'll get the infantry, quickly push up to that wall. We're going to get all of you guys. What we're going to do? Well, we can't put them in that building. Push quick if you can. Try and get to the flanks straight away. Just be wary. Stop to the east. Um, We've got infantry down here. Can also join the support. So, oh, Dushka. Where is it? Is it there? Crap. Get down, get down. There was a Dushka. Oh, right there. He's obviously come as a reinforcement. Push forward. We will get a medic to come in deal with these. It's alright, you're fine. If one of you throws a smoke there, do a smoke. Come on. Good lad. You just keep crawling there. Just stay out of his line of sight for now. We will call some artillery. Oh no. Keep the artillery hitting these in the central area. The tank's doing a good job though. Artillery should be firing. Ground's hit? I don't know. Maybe he's reloading. If you can, chuck a couple of grenades over there. See if we can take that dust scrap out. That grenade bounce back. You dickhead. Actual useless. Okay. <laughs> We've got a couple of infantry pushing in there, but I think they'll hold. Medic's coming up. Send the tank up, and the infantry can follow. Need to get these infantry pushed up a bit. Up there. And then push up for now. Push. Push up there. Whoa, trap broke, so someone's just hit us with a bit of a bang. What is it? 45 milli, just with a good shot there. Alright, twist. With the dust screen in front of us, it is as well. We'll deal with that as well. Oh, we're getting some hits now. Did he just kill more, man? I hope not. <sighs> Crap. Oh, the, the rear turret's fire, that's awesome. Keep shooting, lad. 
We have decrewed the gun. Good stuff. Just keep firing. Push up there for now. If you can get you guys here. And you two. Push there just to cover the blanks. KB's basically been an absolute hero again. Let's try and get some round on this building. Clear it out a bit. Get down and start moving up. He did hit it, but didn't kill it, unfortunately. Push up there. And push up there. And we're in a good spot. He's got high explosive rounds. There we go. He's like, oh, we've got something alive up here. What is it? It is a Dushka. Try and engage. Get down, get down. Get out of the way. Down. Just crawl there. Stay out of the way for now. Artillery hit close, but not close enough. Keep engaging. Reaffirm that artillery dom dominance. Take the point, boys. Men, shall I say. You've got the you can do it. There's enemy infantry there, we're going to start engaging. Cover our troops. I like the turn and shoot. Just start shredding. So the artillery is it? Is he fired again? Come on. Where was it? It was over here somewhere. Don't know if he's killed it. I don't think he has. Let's pump some rounds in it. Definitely get put a tight ground on it. Let's uh, bring a couple of you around and you can flank it, potentially. The things. Oh, it has been decreed, I think. Yeah, it's showing something's down, but keep the artillery hitting it. And we'll bring you troops up to support these. And not a bad little push, to be fair. Fairly well, the KB makes it quite easy, to be fair. But, like I said, I haven't bought any heavy armour. I've just captured it, but he did take a beating. Try and heal if you can. But he's been a hero for the last defence as well. Still, the enemy will get to the point where they start bringing heavier AT and these things. But as you saw, it got decrewed by, uh, tracked by a 45 milli. So once bigger stuff starts coming. And then the last defence I actually watched a bit of the video. There's a 10 millimetre mortar, a 10 centimetre mortar from us, that hit the KV's engine that caused it to stall, allowing us to satrocharge it. So really interesting. Has that got AT stuff? Should we, should we loot one? Yeah, let's loot one for the holes. Because it's always useful. Um, just have a look at his body. Yeah, take all that. Um, yeah, take as much as you can. Gives you some free AT weapon, doesn't it? Nice, nice. Always good to steal some things from their troops. It is a pretty good rifle as well. That's tank rifle. So that's the assault mission done. We only lost 28 men. No tanks or emplacements lost. They lost 158. 162 technically, I think they killed some of their own though, and they lost 4 emplacement slash tanks, so really pretty decent defence, we needed it after those brutal attacks and defence before, and yep, that's it, and I'll see you on the next one, hope you all enjoyed it, and have a